Hey everyone, uh, Steve here again. Today I have this rosewood that just came in and it looks like this. Let me get my tweezers. So uh, this customer sent it in this way. Um, first the label, remember how I said if you have issues with the label and if the label looks like this from another place then that means the internals look just as bad, if not worse. Well, yeah, that theory has been proven correct again. So let's, uh, let's see what's happening here. Uh, strip screws, um, bent casing here. I already opened this up so I know what it looks like on the inside. And this is, you know, when data recovery companies and technicians and Anyone who works on Drive tells people or tells, you know, the clients that are sending devices in to not open the Drive up or work on it. This is what they're talking about. This is, this is the damage that they're referring to. So this case was bent. So whoever opened this up did not, I guess, know that there was a screw holding it and, and kept trying to, to pry it up. So this whole thing is morphed, as you can see here. And uh, not only that, the insides, look at the insides. So here, let me quickly show you with the green light. Look at the contamination there. So, and that's, that's a major problem because we don't know if this was, um, you know, touched in any way on the insides, but I don't see any fingerprints, so that's good. Uh, all I see is debris on the top platter and the platter rings here let me show you let me zoom in so the platter rings have been messed with not sure why that person would do that if you look here the alignment is off so this is supposed to be up a little bit as you, you this one is a little bit clearer actually so the alignment is, is off here so this person actually removed the 4pl screw that's holding uh, the platter rings and the platters in their respective places. Yeah, and uh, I can't show you the... Oh, you can actually see the, the black particles that are on there. It's a little difficult, but... Yeah, so when this was opened up, I think what usually happens is they stick a prying tool or something similar to that, maybe on the edges or on the corners, and uh, you get some, some shavings from the casing itself, and then they end up on the platter. So uh, in this case, it doesn't look like it's that bad of a damage done to this poor drive, but you, you know, I won't really know until I um, take out the heads, inspect them, see what they look like, and um, go from there. You know what, since this video is, uh, going let's do that right now let me first clean it out and then you want to hold it this way so that Whatever debris you have on the platters falls off just, you know, from gravity. Alright, so inspecting it. Platters look relatively clean right now, but I want to find out what this person did uh, with the rings here. So uh, let's get a uh, 4PL. Well, first we have to unstick the heads. So let's get the headstack assembly screw. Actually, in this case, I'm going to leave the screw off. But, um, the reason for that is I don't know how, what 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 ty what type of damage was uh, was done to this. Um, the platter here so let me grab a 4pl here and my tweezers <sighs> you 
trying to see if this was loosened up in any way. All right, so the, the general motion is, well, autofocus is kicking in, but uh, the general motion is you put a 4PL here, twist counterclockwise, and at the same time you put the headstack assembly back in the, on the ramp. So yeah, I'm just gonna quickly do that. Okay, that's all done now. Then I want to check if the platters can move freely. And they it's hard to tell, right? It's a little bit difficult to tell if this thing can move freely or not. So the easiest thing to do is to compare it with an open hard drive that I have, which is convenient. So let's uh, open this guy up. All right, so this is, I guess, a donor. And let's see how this spins. Yeah, see the difference there? So definitely something was done to the ring for the platters. Not sure what, maybe it's just misaligned or something like that. I'm gonna try to align it and see what's going on there. But yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it, so. Um, I don't really have time for that right now, so I'm probably gonna make another video of how to remove the platters and how to do it properly, but yeah, the, the difference is, uh, is, is night and day, actually, see? So, yeah, this is a donor. And this is, I mean, that was the patient, sorry, and then this is the, the donor, so. You see in terms of how it spins, night and day difference. Yeah, this was originally uh, intended to be a quick video of what not to do to your drives. Please don't do this. It's not gonna help you in terms of price. It's not gonna help you in terms of anything. If data is important, you do not want to mess with it. You, don't, you do not want to cause any more da damage than that's already been done. Uh, label came in like this. I mean, this was, you know, Again, this is my indicator. I call this the indicator of what you have uh, when you open this drive up. And that's exactly what happened here. This isn't the first time I've seen this many times before. Um, and yeah, it's something that shouldn't have happened. Uh, I've made a video on how to remove the label. I've made a video on how to unstick the heads. We have all the information there for you guys. And uh, I think, I don't know, in general, people, normally mess with things they don't understand, they don't understand how to fix. And that's not only when it comes to hard drive with many other things and, um, you know, not just the IT field and stuff like that. So, yeah, so uh, I hope you guys learned something. And um, this is a prime example of why data recovery technicians hate working on drives that have been opened up. It's something that makes it a lot more difficult to get the data back. And um, it's something that, you don't want to deal with as a data recovery technician. So uh, that's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something.